All right, so now we come to trap escape skills. And this is part of what we've grouped together under phenomenological problem solving. So we've talked about problems before, we've been untangling a lot of problems. Now we want to make trap escape skills as a meta device within your consciousness that can then be applied to all components within your awareness, your feelings, your thoughts, your behaviors, your experiences, your situations and all the rest of it. Now, understand that any problem is a trap that you yourself are in, whether it's external or internal. And that means that it is your responsibility to have the skill to get out of that trap. Now, of course, when you're in a trap, you seem stuck. <laughs> you can't see the way out which is exactly why it's a trap. And trap escape skills is really your ability to recognize that you're stuck and take the moment to sense where the next right decision is. You can slow down to sense the best action that you can take to get yourself out of it. Now, slowing down is just one example of how you might use trap escape skills. Sometimes going faster is the way out, <laughs> right? So this is why trap escape skills is its own thing. It's its own mechanism. And really, this is the thing that if you have this as an asset, you never have any problems. First of all, recognizing that problems are your problems and owning your problems is foundational to having this work. It is in fact a trap to think that your problems are not yours. The problem is with other people. The problem is with the world. The problem is with my family. The problem is with, the list goes on. And that's a trap. That's actually a trap that you're in and you need trap escape skills in order to do that. So this is high level stuff because once you've accepted that, then you realize, oh, I've got a whole bunch of problems. And it's all because I made a terrible mistake with my life, right? And in, in many ways, accepting the problem as your own is even heavier. It's easier to blame other people, right? It's easier to put it on something other than yourself because when you take it on yourself, it's really heavy it's, and it's a real trap. Because if it's me, that got me into this problem and I don't know the way out of the problem, that must mean there's no way out of the problem, <laughs> right? Now that's a hell of a trap to be in. And that's why you need trap escape skills. That's why you need to be able to say, okay, now what is my next best decision? What happens if I think about this more slowly? What happens if I think about this more quickly? What happens if I think about this in a different direction? What happens if I change my direction of behavior? And these are all just components of the trap escape skills that you can try. So let's go through some examples of where trap escape skills applies to your subjective experiencing or your phenomenological experiencing. First of all, confusion. If you're confused, then you're in a trap. Do you know how to get out of confusion? 
Can you change that sense of the feeling that you're getting inside your body of confusion? I'll give you a clue. If you wait long enough and you listen to your mind carefully enough, confusion subsides. Confusion really only comes from a clinging of the mind. And the mind has fragments that naturally want to dissolve. So if you can sense how you feel and wait, confusion subsides. But if you're in confusion, if you are confused about something, or even if you're just not clear about something, then you are in a trap. And you need to find your skills to get out of that. Here's another example, misery and depression. If you're miserable, you're in a trap. If you're depressed, well, that's a trap. And it's your responsibility to find your way out. And it might seem like you need a lot of skill. You need a lot of self-awareness. You need a lot of strength to come out of your depression. And it might be the case. It might be the hardest thing you've ever done, will ever do. And depression is not an easy trap, right? It's just like that thing of, if I got myself into this trap and I don't know the way out, that means there's no way out. It's just like that. And yet the answer is trap escape skills, which means doing whatever process it takes. And if it's the hardest thing you ever do, well, maybe your life's not that bad. Self-worthlessness, that's another trap. That's sort of related to misery and depression. Self-worthlessness can manifest itself in many ways. That's more of a self-image issue whereas depression is more of an energetic and emotional issue. Directionless, that's a trap. Having no direction. And I don't mean having no direction as in get up and get a job, do something with your life. <laughs> I mean directionlessness as in your consciousness. Being unable to be multi-directional. That's directionlessness. That's a trap. And really, the trick to being not stuck in directionlessness is to be multi-directional. Apathy. Passivity. Those are traps. Lack of emotional depth. If you don't understand the emotional spectrum and explore all of it, then that would be a trap. You've missed something. And further still, it's not even a matter of the emotional spectrum, but also the depths of emotional experiencing. How deep is your anger? How deep is your love? Can you push your anger deeper than you ever have before? That also, in a sense, does carry over into ladder creation, which we'll talk about a bit later on. And in fact, a lot of these are in their opposite related to ladder creation. But we'll talk about that in a few talks time when we're talking about that unto itself. Circular thinking and closed mindedness. This is a trap. Can you get yourself out of closed mindedness? And you do realize that it's only you that can do that. If someone convinces you of something through rational rhetoric, through providing evidence, that does nothing for your open-mindedness. If someone 
create a range of thoughts within you that are still circular, then you still have closed mindedness. You still have circular thinking and that's a trap. Another big category is relationship tangles. So this would be jealousy, spite, vengeance, manipulation, and just being plain old trapped in a relationship, right? The trap escape skills of being stuck in a relationship is not a matter of that person won't let you leave. It's a matter of the psychological and emotional hooks, the entanglement that is occurring there. Why do women go back to men who are abusing them, hurting them? Well, because they're caught in a trap. They need the trap escape skills. Addiction. Are you trapped in an addiction? Resentment towards others, towards life, towards yourself. Resentment is a trap. Can you find your way out of that one? And lastly on my list is forgotten existential truth. So if you forget about your existential nature, if you lose touch with what it is that you've realized about the nature of reality, that would be a trap. And that's a trap that runs deep. That's a trap that affects everything. <laughs> and really getting out of that one is simply a matter of remembering. It doesn't take much skill, right? The trap escape skills of realizing that you've forgotten your existential nature isn't much simply matter of remembering. And so many of these intangible assets do only take one little click in your mind and you've got it, right? Don't get the sense that because we're doing these long explanations about all the different examples and dynamics and pathologies and good versions and bad versions and all of that, that these are complicated things. They are high level things but they are not complicated. And in fact, that actually comes back to simplicity in chaos. These intangible assets so often are just a click of the mind and you're getting that at this stage. It's starting to happen for you, right? And the trap escape skill of Noticing that you've forgotten your existential truth is exactly that. Now, of course, you do have to have a good connection to your existential truth. You do have to have that within you already. You have to have already realized that. And that's something that becomes deeper and deeper and deeper. That's something that is an ongoing practice, which means that it's easier to get out of that trap. It's easier to remember. So that's a little bit about trap escape skills. If you're confused, you're in a trap. If you're living in misery, you're in a trap. If you're in a relationship tangle, you're in a trap. And you need to have the skill to get out of that. You need to have the awareness to get out of it. You need to have the self-realization that something's wrong here and I need to break free, leave, change directions, whatever it is. So without falling into the trap of talking too much or explaining things too much, over explaining, <laughs> let's move on to the next talk.